Welcome to lesson 9 of the Business in the Real World unit. In this unit, the key questions are What is meant by a stakeholder? What are the objectives of a stakeholder? What are the impacts of a range of business decisions on stakeholders? These are the key terms. Read through them carefully. Stakeholder, objectives, conflict, influence, impact. Let's talk business stakeholders. A stakeholder is any person, group of people or other organisation that has an interest in the activities of a business. Businesses need to be aware of their stakeholders as many of them will be affected by its activities. Stakeholders can also influence the decisions that a business makes. Stakeholders can be broken down into both internal and external stakeholders. Internal stakeholders work within a business, either making decisions or carrying them out. External stakeholders do not work within a business, but are affected by its activities. Task. Pause the video. Based on the information you have acquired on stakeholders so far, create a mind map, identifying the individuals or groups that would have an interest in a cafe. Owners have a big say in how the aims of the business are decided, but other groups also have an influence over decision-making. For example, the directors who manage the day-to-day -day affairs of a company may decide to make higher sales a top priority rather than profits. Customers are also key stakeholders. Businesses that ignore the concerns of customers find themselves losing sales to rivals. In a small business, the most important or primary stakeholders are the owners, staff and customers. In a large company, shareholders are the primary stakeholders as they can vote out directors if they believe they are running the business badly. Let's take a look at some examples of stakeholders. Most businesses have a variety of stakeholder groups which can be broadly categorised as follows. Internal Directors, managers, employees. Connected, shareholders, customers, suppliers, advisors, competition. External, government, local community, pressure groups, media. Task, pause the video. Create a table like the one in the image below. Can you identify the main objective of each stakeholder and what level of influence they have? For example, an employee's main interests or objectives would be salary and job satisfaction, and they would influence the level of quality service that the company provides. Stakeholder groups vary both in terms of their interest in the business activities and also their power to influence business decisions. Here's a useful summary below. Task. Pause the video, take a look at the case study question below and have a go at responding to the scenario question. Scenario. Item A. Better Energy PLC are a company that own power plants. In the past five years, their revenue has increased by 36% and profits have increased by 20%. As a result of this success, they have increased staff wages by 5% and cut the energy prices they charge customers by 3%. They have also invested in refurbishing their offices and have started investing in new power plants that generate electricity in a renewable way. Question. Explain two ways in which Better Energy PLC may have satisfied the objectives of its customers. Four marks. Different stakeholders have different objectives. The interests of different stakeholder groups can conflict. 
For example, owners generally seek high profits and so may be reluctant to see the business pay high wages to staff. A business decision to move production overseas may reduce staff costs. It will therefore benefit owners but works against the interests of existing staff who will lose their jobs. Customers also suffer if they receive a poorer service. Task. Pause the video. The table below encourages you to think about further stakeholder conflict. Draw and complete the table below, outlining a business decision, who this is likely to be supported by and possibly opposed by. Take a look at the table below to see some further examples of potential conflicts between stakeholders.